What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with a brand new arc story for you guys today and today guys we're going to be trying to tame up that 145 Mantis that we found last episode. So guys we've pretty much got everything ready to go, uh, we've got some narcotics ready to chuck in a mortar and pestle for the bug repellent. So we've got the narcotics, we need to grab some pelt and wool. Uh, as you can see I've slowly started moving a couple of tames into the taming pen, still not all of them. Um, and we also discovered that one of our dire wolves actually has a mutation. So if we come over here, this big guy right here has a blue mutation. Uh, this one right here. He's actually got a mutation on him. Now, I don't know who he got it from, because they're all kind of <laughs> the same names. But you can see there he's got one random mutation from his, uh, from his father line which is really good, um, and that's that blue stripe down his back, because none of other uh, none of our other direwolves actually have that stripe. We flew around and we took a look, and uh, yeah, none of them had any of those stripes. Uh, so we also went back out and got a bunch more Deathworm horns, so I think we've got 13, 12 or 13 at the moment? 12. So we've got 12 of those bad boys ready to go for the Mantis. We are going to come inside here, and we are going to chuck our pelt that we needed in here. Uh, we need six. All right, we're gonna grab some citron and some rock carrot. Luckily, we don't need too much of this stuff. Um, so we'll grab a couple of these. I'm gonna make maybe three. I think three should be enough. Three of those uh, and citron. We need twelve of these. Okay. Uh, I think that's all we need, right? I don't think we need any more veggies. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Just double check here. Chuck it all in. Thank you very much. Drugs. Bingo. All right. So we should be able to make three of those. Awesome. So uh, yeah, so we're going to fly out to the desert back down near where the artifact cave was. Um, we're going to try and tame a mantis up. That 145, we've got a beautiful saddle for it, ready to uh, ready to go because we have been very lucky with our drop findings. So we've got that bad boy ready to go. We've got two sets of master, uh, not master scrub. We've got two armor pieces of ghillie, which hopefully should help out with the taming of it. Um, let's grab that. Awesome. Uh, we are going to take one of our wyverns. The question is, which one? This one's our health one, I think. No, this one is our weight one. Do we take you, weight and stamina, or just weight? I'm pretty sure you're our weight and stamina. You might be our traveling one. You are our health one. So I think we'll just take you for the time being, because you have the most stamina out of all of them, and it's going to be extremely quick to get down there with this guy. So we're going to try and tame up the, the Mantis. We might even be able to tame up multiples. Um, and we're also going to try and look for a UD because we're going to need a UD for the boss fight. So, like, I kind of want something above level 100. I'm thinking, like, level 110, maybe? Level 120, like, around that mark. Even, like, 130 I would be happy with. I don't know if we're going to get lucky and find something ridiculously high, um, like we did with the Daedons, but... It's worth a shot, so we're going to keep flying out here. We're going to head down this way. I think it was like right down in this corner. And we're going to see if we can find that same Mantis from the other day. But if you guys find yourselves enjoying the video today, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, let's get into it and uh, track down this damn Okay, uh, and we did just find another female Argy as well. So, do I have any Trank Darts on me? I've got some arrows. I really want to tame this female Argy up because it's potentially another breeder for uh, Warpath. Um, and it is just on this mountain here. So, okay, we just got to remember that this mountain is here. Maybe we'll actually tame up this other Argy today because a 140 female, once again, is probably too good to pass up, especially with the levels that uh, you get on Scorched Earth. It's not a, not a fun time trying to find something that's decent level. We're going to fix up the uh, bloom quality and, yeah, we're going to try and find this Mantis. Okay, here we go. We are coming up on the location. Please be one of these bad boys right in front of us. It's a level 5. That is definitely not the Mantis we are looking for. Well, let's try over here. There is a bunch of them right here. Alright, how are we looking, fellas? Are you guys what we're after? Level 20, level 10. There's one more over there. There he is. Oh, I should say she. It's a female. Alright, awesome. So... I know they won't aggro on us. So what we'll do is we are going to... Probably try and get around the back side of it. It's not, they won't aggro on us while we're on our wyvern, which is fine. So let's just come around here like this. Let's come into here. Let's take one of those. Sweet. Let's get that down there. Awesome. All right. Let's go and get a sneaky sneak on the mantis and see if we can insert some deathworm horns into the buttocks 
of said female and try and tame her up. Hopefully this will all go according to plan. We have to be very careful, stealthy, super sneaky. Make sure it doesn't turn around and face us. And not touch it either. Hello, female mantis. I wish to tame you and become the dearest of friends. I may... Okay, we got a... Oh, 43. Oh, damn, okay. We uh, we definitely overkilled it with the deathworm horns, though. That's for sure. Um, Okay. I was not expecting its percentage to go up so high. So now we just have to wait because it's got like, I think, a three minute sort of waiting time before you can feed the next one. Um, and I know mantises aren't breedable yet, but I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, when they drop the TLC for the mammoth and the stego, they're also going to introduce bug breeding. Because a while back they teased about the mantis. They, they teased like a mantis baby. So I'm thinking they might introduce bug breeding. Because you can't do it with the uranios or the scorpions uh, either. So I would not be surprised if they uh, they introduce it for uh, for these guys. And this female is already a little bit too keen to get close to us. Look at her trying to get right up in our little face. Oh, oh alright. Alright, she's very interested. Let's just fly away here. I could probably try and tame an Arthropleura up as well to be honest. But I mean... We're not going to really have too much of a use for an Arthur Pleura in PvE. Alright, let's... We'll turn off here real quick. Let me take a little squiz, a little gander. At her cheeky butt. Ooh, that was close. Wait until it's hungry again. Yeah, so it's just going to be a waiting game. We're just going to have to wait a little bit. Because I know there's like a, a set time you have to wait for mantises. So, two more Deathworm Horns and we'll be good to go. Alrighty guys, second Deathworm Horn. Still not ready to go. Alright, what we might do is I might just fly around and... Uh, Kill some things because looking like this mantis is going to take a little bit of time. So we might as well take our poison wyvern out and go chomping. Uh, I just have to make sure that I don't accidentally hit that same uh, mantis when we come back. Otherwise, it's going to reset and then we're going to be in a bit of trouble. Let's try and kill this guy here, level 10. I don't know if they'll aggro on us all the way out here. I'm hoping they're not. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked that mantis. Now I kind of regret my decision too. Okay, let's um, let's just come out here. Oh, 792 chitin. Here we go. We'll kill a bunch of scorpions. Actually, are there any other mantises that we can tame out here that are a decent level? We've got a level 35 there. We've got a level 60, and there's one more. And a level 5. Okay, that's kind of disappointing. Well, we're not going to bother with those guys, because they're just a waste of our time. It definitely won't take us long to tame them up, though. I was expecting it to take us a lot longer. I was expecting only to get, like, 12% from a singular deathworm horn. That's all I was expecting, so I'm pleasantly surprised that we're not going to have to wait as long for our mighty mantis. But uh, we're going to kill all this stuff and maybe we can get a higher one spawning in. I don't know. We'll try our luck. Our luck obviously isn't that great, especially after losing Scorcher. But there's no harm in trying. Okay, we have to also try and remember which bloody mantis is ours. Okay, guys, it just attacked something, so I don't know... Yeah. I shouldn't have gone and killed anything. That's going to reset the taming progress on it, I think. I need to help it out. Otherwise, we're going to lose it. And I don't really want to lose it to a bunch of vultures. Alright, one down. Because I think they struggle to hit the vultures. Crap, crap. This is bad. Really don't want to lose this mantis. And I can't hit the damn thing to save me life. Oh, come on. This is just ridiculous now. Okay, good. It's killed it. Thank God for that. Are you going to be aggro on me? You're going to eat the bo bodies? I don't think you're going to be aggro on me. Are you chill? You're chill. All right. Well, it's taming effectiveness is going to be reset. It's taming progress. Yeah, there we go. It's still got 100% taming effectiveness, which is awesome. So we're just going to have to wait now because, yeah, it's uh, just going to be more of a waiting game. I reckon I can hit that oil bug. Whoa! Okay, definitely not. No Kishko over here. Alrighty, guys, here we go. The moment of truth. Let's get him. Oh, baby. I was a little bit concerned because there were a bunch of vultures over there, so I didn't want to wait any longer. Nonetheless, though, we've got our very own Mantis. I love the saddle on these guys, like how you stand up on them. It just looks so badass, and it's really cool because, you know, there's no other saddles that do that. All right, let's test this guy out. Let's see how much damage we're doing. 49 of those. Ouch. I should have probably been a little bit careful about that. Because I forgot that the vultures attack me instead of the mantis. Okay, that does decent damage. We haven't got any extra tools in its in in its hands though. Can we chuck a chainsaw in there? No, we can't. It would be nice to dream. I don't. I'm pretty sure you can actually use whips on the mantis. Um, I need to be careful here because we're gonna die. Let's pull this bad boy out. Goodbye, sweet princess. Okay, 
Let's try this again. Can you... You can't use... No. Okay. I thought they could use whips. I could have sworn. No, they can use hatchets. There we go. Got some hatchets for our mantis. We don't really want it to be uh, hatchet mantis, though. We're going to take that off. I swear you could have used whips on this guy. Maybe it's my imagination. All right. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, it's not very good melee damage. Damn, that is horse poo me melee damage. 216.9. That's... That's really bad. That's like terrible melee damage. That's fine. We're going to cryo this lady up. We're going to take her home. We're going to test her out when we get home. But we're also going to go out and tame up. We'll try and tame up that female Argy. Uh, she's a 140. She's way too good to pass up. We could get really lucky with the health stat. And uh, enable us to really sort of cement our lines for the Argies. Because uh, then we could take on the Mance Core with them. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. Uh, while we fly past here, though, we're also going to see if there's any other Thylacolios. Because uh, we do want to get a mate for Ash. Um, but whether or not we'll be finding one is a different story. So we're just going to keep our eyes out um, and see if there's anything around here. But then we might go and get some more eggs. I don't know. It depends on how well the RG team goes, how long that takes. Um, we might do it while we wait for the RG. I don't know. Because we are going to need more wyvern eggs. We don't have a fire wyvern. We've got tons of bloody poison wyverns. So we definitely just need to keep an eye out. But hopefully we can get lucky. We still need to get a UD. I want to get a UD as well. Um, I don't know whether or not to invest in some Rexes. And and try and do the, the Manticore with Rexes. Because I know that, like there are rock elementals and stuff like that. That uh, they don't get spawned in. But they can't. Well, maybe they do. They get like brought into the battle. So it's pretty annoying to have to deal with rock elementals when you've got a bunch of Rexes and the rock elementals take the reduced damage. And then you have to kind of bring a bazooka and you could accidentally kill your own Rexes, which, you know, not a fun time. Not a very fun time. Hold the phone. Here's a Thyla. What do we got? Hit me with the level. Okay. You a not a good level. Let's actually just real quick kill this Thylacolia because hopefully we can get a higher level one to spawn in because we want a, we want a friend for Ash. Or we want a little cuddle buddy for Ash. Alright, that one's dead. Um, I don't think there's any other ones around here somewhere. I do know they spawn around here. Because they spawn around like the green ob. Mountainy bits on the sides here. So, doesn't look like it. We'll check over that side and see if there's any over there. We might... Do we have enough weight? Can we take some... I think we take some oil back, but I don't know if we really need any oil. I don't think we do. Let's just keep going. And the uh, Halloween event is going to be coming up soon as well, which means that we can... Go about getting some Halloween colored wyverns, hopefully. That'd be pretty cool. Although, I kind of want to move on to Aberration by the time that event starts. So we can get some Aberration uh, event dino colors. Especially like a Megalosaurus. That'd be dope. I would love one of those. So, we're going to see if we can get one of those lined up. But right now, we're just going to, I guess, fly back to base. Try and remember the mountain that the RG was on. And try and tame said RG. Whether or not we'll be successful, we shall uh, remain to see. But I definitely want to try out the Mantis as well today. I really should have built down a green ob. There's just so much more metal nodes down here. It would have been so much better for farming and stuff like that. Instead of having to travel up all the way up the bloody mountain. So, kind of regret my decision, but eh, it's fine. We're going to head over here and check out these red and yellow drops. I think that's a red and I think that's a yellow over there. But it looks like there's a thunderstorm coming in. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful. But uh, we should be fine. I'm thinking we'll be alright. So let's get over to these drops. Hopefully there's something good in them. And uh, we'll bring you guys back. Alrighty guys, we just got back to base. We're going to grab one of the Argies. Probably Warpath to be honest. We're going to take Warpath out and kite this other Argy back here. Just because Warpath is stronger. He's got more health. He can tank it a lot easier. Um, let's come up here real quick. What level are you? Don't know. Alright, we'll keep flying it. There's a Kentro right here, which makes me a little bit nervous. Let's open that gate up. Close that gate. No, okay. Don't want to close. Do you want to close now? Okay, sure. We'll just jump off Warpath, because apparently the gate does not want to cooperate. Can you, mate? Alright, so we're going to go find this female. It was over at this other mountain, just uh, straight ahead of us, I think. Not the one in the middle, the one sort of a little bit further. Uh... That one over there, that further one away. So we're going to try and get back out there. We're going to see if we can find the female RG. I'm pretty sure I've checked the levels on these guys. Yeah, level 10s. Um, and then we're going to try and kite it back to the trap. I don't know. I'm thinking it'll work. 
but Warpath does have enough health that he should survive the tankingness of it, and we should be okay, so let's see how it goes. I really shouldn't be eating these lamb chops either, I just realized we want to try and tame up another Thylacolio, and I'm eating the damn food for it. Okay guys, we're back at the mountain. No sign of that 140 we saw earlier. There is a 130 here and a bunch of other ones. But not our 141. So that's the 130 I think flying down. Yeah, so I don't know where the 140 went. Oh wait, hold on, are you it? I don't think we looked at you. Level 15, you're not it, I know that. Hopefully it hasn't gotten itself bloody killed. That's what I'm hoping has not happened because... That's going to really suck. Um, I guess we'll just fly around this side, see if it's around here. I don't remember the color of it either, which is probably a slight minor inconvenience. I probably should have tried remembering the color of it. Um, there was another RG just over here. I'm going to try and come over here and see if we can see what level it was, because this could possibly be it as well. Level 15. Nope, you are definitely not it. Okay, uh, I have no idea where that 140 RG went that we wanted. I... Oh, hold on. That's a UD though. Level 50. Mmm. Sort of a little bit too low for what we're after. Let's just kill this damn RG though. Okay. Yeah. You done? You happy now? You got your revenge? Are you sated? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm kind of bummed that there's no 140 RG. I don't know where she would have gone. It was a female as well, which would have been bloody perfect. So, like, where has she gone? Unless she's like further down the mountain, like at the bottom, but... <sighs> Part of me is hoping that it didn't get killed, but there's a rock elemental chilling right here, so it's very likely that it did get killed? I don't know. I'm just a mess at the moment, because we've lost our 140 Argy that we were going to tame. I probably should have just cutted that back to the trap first and uh, knocked it out. Because that would have been better, but I'm not that smart. And yeah, alright, this isn't looking too good. Double check these guys, I'm pretty sure none of these are it. Level 130. Level 45. You're not the 140. Oh, okay, I stand corrected. We found the 140, cheering. Uh, so let's get this little lady back to the trap. Um, I still need to craft up some Trank uh, Bolts, maybe Trank Arrows? Probably Trank Darts, actually, I think we'll use for her. Come get me, come on. I'm just going to fly at a leisurely pace for you. There you go. We're just going to fly like this. We're just going to tank the damage so that she stays on us. Maybe we'll speed up a little bit. Because this is probably the easiest way to keep her interest on us. And slow it down. Yeah, we're just going to tank the damage, I guess. Oh, she's still pretty keen on trying to get some of this booty. I mean, I don't mind her. It is quite a marvelous couple of cheeks right there to look at. So, she must really... This is funny. Look at the two IG colors, though. They're kind of like polar opposites. <laughs> pretty cool except it's white instead of black all right so let's get this guy to the trap there's a titanosaur down there as well that i'm kind of tempted to kill without lightning wyvern i know it'll take a while but it's sort of got me interested in trying to kill it and we can kind of just like sit on one of these ridges and lightning strike it i don't know we'll think about it all righty guys we're coming back up on the trap now it's just around the corner here and uh we did just find also another uteranus but it was only level 85 so i don't know if that's high enough level for us. Hey, what the hell? How did a Megatherium get inside of our damn base? Can something kill that, please? Oh my god, our teams are going wild. Alright, well, I mean, I guess it's dead, but... We no longer have any more hops. So, I'm pretty sure we're up to ninth generation hops now. Which, you know, that's, that's not a good thing. Oh crap, we screwed that up. Come on then, come back out this way. Um, hopefully the rest of our base didn't get demolished. Because that'll be disastrous. Alright, let's spin around and line this RG back up again. Alright, let's go. Straight in the trap for me. Beautiful. Let's close the gate. And sweet. Alright, cool. Uh, RG is in the trap. We've got 19 Trank Arrows. I uh, don't think that's going to be enough, especially with our little primitive crossbow. Let's come down here. Let's, uh, let's check everything in the base, I guess, uh, because we don't know what's alive and what's dead. Or what our base looks like. Did anything get destroyed? Because he was chilling over here. How did... I must have forgotten to close the door again, as per usual. Alright, get your ass in there. 
damn dung beetles trying to make an escape. Okay. Uh, trank darts, trank darts, trank darts. So we need... We need some gunpowder. We need some narcotics, which I should have all of the above, except for maybe gunpowder. No, I got a little bit of gunpowder as well. And even then, I've got charcoal burning in these bad boys as well. All right, let's chuck all that in, chuck all that in. Uh, weapons, ammo. Well, we can make some. We can make ten. Let's make ten of those. Let's make... 20 of those. That should be 40 bullets. I've got more bullets in here. I should be able to make some if I chuck some in. Hold on, let's split half of these. And we should be able to make 10. Awesome. Alright, make those. Okay, cool. So that's going to be the RNG. Um, like I said, I don't know if we want to... That's way too bright. Don't know if we want to try and tame up that... Oh, shit. This Mantis almost died. I just got a 78 armor... Oh, because it's a bug. It's going to say it's a bug. <laughs> it almost died from a Mega... Th Why did a Mega Ethereum spawn straight out here? That's what probably got the Mantis... Um, that's probably... What are, what are the words? That's probably what aggroed the Mega Ethereum. That's what I'm trying to say. The Mantis would have aggroed it because it's just a bug doing its thing, chilling there. And, uh, obviously Mega Ethereums aren't the biggest fans of bugs. We got some Terra Birds, Danny. Any decent ones? We got a 45. I see the other one hovering over there. Got a 45, a 25, and a 5. Wow, they are totally not worth our time. Alright, let's come back up here. We should be good to go for the Trank Dart situation. Um, I might need to park this guy in a safe spot so that it doesn't die anytime soon. Considering we did just get this damn thing. Uh, can we jump over that? Jump. Okay. Don't think we can jump over that because everyone is smushed against the doorway because a Mega Theorem got in and everyone wanted to have a piece of it. Alright. You sit right there, Mantis. Uh, we are going to give you a name. You can be called Scythe. I like that name. There you go. Happy Trails, Scythe. Alright, let's go grab... We're not going to try and get out through there. Let's go grab our Trank Darts and we should be able to... Ooh, hello, gorgeous. We should be able to knock out the RG. Let's gamma up here a bit more. Awesome. Okay, give me those Tranky Darts. Thank you very much. Let's go. Warpath, if you don't mind. Okay, cool. Um, so we're going to have to see how much health this one has when we knock it out. I'll tame it. We'll probably tame it anyway because it's a 140. Like, you can't, you don't pass up a 140. Um, let's grab that out. Hello, Sleepy. I kind of want to do the hunger thing, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, I don't think I'll be able to tame it, pull it off because it's a much higher level. It's a little bit difficult. So we're just going to trank it. Um, we might try and fly... Are you already ready to knock out? We might try and fly around and find a UD. I don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to tame it this episode, but there was an 85 one on the other side of this mountain. I kind of want something a little bit stronger. Maybe like around the 100 mark, 130 mark, honestly. I'd be pretty stoked for that. So we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, I still don't know whether or not we're going to use Argies, Wyverns, or Rexes for the Manticore boss fight. But I need to make a decision because... I think we're coming to the end of Scorched Earth, so I definitely think we need to make an informed decision real quick about it, and uh, I'm very keen to move on to Aberration, to be honest. I am pretty stoked. Alright, RG is knocked out. Awesome. We're going to let that starve. We're going to fly around a bit, see if we can find a UD. Um, there is a Rex over there. Are you a decent level Rex? You are a level 5 Rex. I swear that every single Rex I have seen on Scorched Earth so far has been a damned level 5 freaking Rex. So, no luck in that department. Alright. Let's fly up onto the mountains and uh, see if we can have any luck finding any sort of UDs. My fingers are crossed. I have multiple body parts crossed at the moment, to be honest. I'm not going to tell you which ones, though, because that's just weird. But I have multiple crossed. Alright, guys. I just found our first UD up in the mountains. It's only level 30. Definitely not what we're looking for. I still can't get over the fact that I killed a 140. I think it was a 145 or a 140. I can't remember. It was chilling in, like, one of these crevices. And, like, it wasn't doing anything. It was just, like, sitting there. And I killed it, not thinking. Oh, hey, this might be a freaking high-level UD. Let's try and tame it up. I'm so used to them not being high-level that I just kill them. So, I really should have just checked its level first. Especially considering we are probably going to need a UD for the boss fights. So, I don't know. We're just going to keep flying around here, though. Okay, guys, and uh, turns out we're extremely unlucky because 
The RG has decided to, to despawn by the looks of it. I don't know why it would despawn while it was knocked out, but it's not here. And I definitely don't think anything has killed it because it was in the trap. So that's freaking frustrating. So it looks like we're not taming up an RG today because it obviously just didn't want to be tamed up. And it despawned unless it managed to get out of the trap and he's now living somewhere else. No, it, there was no way. It was knocked out. There was no way we were gone for that long. Unless we were, I don't know, this is weird, nope, yeah, I'm definitely thinking it despawned, which really sucks, really sucks, but anyway, there's not much we can do about that except move on and uh, tame some more stuff, so let's come in here real quick, we'll drop off these heavy bastards, there we go, alrighty, let's come into our mantis, let's get over here, let's take a look at what you can do, alright, so you're already on full health, awesome. Let's go for that. Let's give it a pickaxe. Let's go mining. Let's see what this guy can mine. So, we'll see how much flint he gets. That's actually pretty solid. Definitely on par with, like, the Yankee and stuff. The only thing is, obviously, the weight. But, like, even then, you just bring a freaking RG along and you're fine. But that's pretty solid amounts. Um, let's grab the sickle. Oh, yeah, look at that. We can just stand here and harvest fiber for days. Alright, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm glad we got the Mantis. I see us definitely using it up. Um, what else can they equip? I know they can equip swords. I know they can do pikes. Is that everything? Pikes, swords. Their normal tools. Can they equip pikes? I thought they could equip pikes. I'm pretty sure they can equip pikes. So let's take a look here. Do we have any of this stuff that we can use? I know they don't use chainsaws. We tried that one. Whips either. They don't use whips either. Uh, what have we got? Flamethrower. I don't think they'll be using a flamethrower. Just a, just a little guess that they're probably not going to be using a flamethrower. Let's go for a sword here. Um, let's chuck it in here. Weapons. Millie. Some wood. Hold on. Good time to go get some wood. It is a sandstorm though, which kind of sucks. Uh, let's see how much wood it gets. Where is our hatchet? Here's our hatchet. Let's go. What's it get? Oh, we're using our thingy still? Sure. Uh, let's put the hatchet on. There we go. Oh, wow. That's pretty solid. That's a lot more than I was expecting to get, to be honest. I was not expecting to get that much. Um... Obviously, we get more with the chainsaw, I think, but that's pretty cool. It'd also be cool if the chainsaw had, like, the thing that the drill has, where it, uh, reduces the amount of wood in your inventory when you've got the drill out. That'd be really cool. Alright, let's grab weapons, melee, um, uh, where did our sword go? Primitive? Why wouldn't it be in melee? That's dumb. Alright, let's grab this sword. We'll see how much damage we can deal with it. Yoink! Back out into the wonderful sandstorm. We've got a little bit of water left. Scythe, I bought you a present. I bought you a present. Hold on to it. Let's just drop all this crap. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, jump on. Alright, so we need to find something to kill. What can we kill? I don't see anything around us. Hold on, there are some terror birds down here you can probably kill. Probably not the best idea to do it in the middle of a sandstorm. Considering we can barely see two free in front of us. But you know what? That's fine. That is okay. We have Scythe with, uh, with Scythe with us. I'm sure we'll be fine. As soon as I can find some worthy prey. Hello, Sabertooth. Let's drop all this crap. You want a piece of me, mate? Oh, oh damn. 240. That's some pretty chunky damage. Plus, considering our saddle is 78 armor, which I think... Is our strongest one. That is some pretty effective damage. Mind you, we also did not do that, that attack. Let's try it out on this Terror Birdie. 330. Damn. That's some pretty chunky damage. I'm pretty stoked with that. Awesome. Alright, we're going to get the Mantis back to base. And uh, we'll probably wrap the video here for today, guys. Because it is a big uh, sandstorm. Um, oh, hold on. There's a terror bird coming to get us. Hello, fellow terror bird. You want a piece of me, mate? Yoink, 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 yoink. Alrighty, awesome. Yeah, I'm a fan of the Mantis. Definitely deals damage, which is really good. Plus, the saddle is really good. But, uh, yeah, guys, we're going to wrap up the video here for today. Bit of a shame we couldn't get that RG and it despawned. 
But nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I will catch you in the next one.